billions of dollars promised to make life in the city of Cleveland cleaner and safer for our children. Mayor Frank Jackson announcing new plans to tear down dangerous abandoned homes near schools. But details of that plan are lacking. All this as he tries to win an unprecedented fourth term. News 5's Derek Waller was the only reporter to talk to the mayor about this today. So Derek, what did you find out? Well, Danita, I did leave with some unanswered questions. The mayor did speak about his plan to demolish 500 vacant properties near schools by the end of the year. In fact, they even had this bulldozer take down this building just today. But what about this other abandoned building right next door to it and hundreds of other properties just like it across the city? It's a question some voters attending a mayoral forum tonight may not have the chance to ask. So I can give you a pretty much definite, that's five million dollars. It's money to tear down 500 vacant buildings near schools like this one on Ansel Avenue after voters passed an income tax hike last year. But today, Mayor Jackson offered few details about what will get torn down next and when. The timing just weeks before Democratic primary voters will make their choice for mayor September 12th. Well, how much do the, all these new announcements have to do with getting reelected? It has, you know, you don't get reelected elected by doing something for one year or for, for a few months. You get reelected for doing your job. Jackson also announced the purchase of new vacuums to clear storm drains, more street sweepers, and nearly a million dollars to deal with thousands of dead trees. Kate Kearney has been complaining about the one towering over her Bridge Avenue home for years. I've called every city department, you name it, I've called. Critics want to see more money for services. Liberal activist Steve Haleko says that includes the 88 million city dollars earmarked for the Quicken Loans Arena. It shouldn't be used for what we call corporate welfare. His group is holding a mayoral candidate forum tonight with six confirmed guests. Mayor Jackson is not one of them. They didn't invite me to that one. So they didn't invite you? They no. said they did. Well, the, the people say a lot of things. I, 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 I thank you for telling me. But Haleko showed me the email proof. Jackson was invited weeks ago. Our communications director, Diane Morgan, then uh, followed up with another email last week and then attempted to make a uh, phone contact. And back here live, still no word tonight if Mayor Jackson plans to attend that forum. It's at the Harvard Community Center starting at 630. Meanwhile, his public works director, Michael Cox, remains on unpaid leave working on the mayor's campaign. I'm told that his deputies are actually in charge of all these new initiatives. Live in Cleveland, Derek Waller, News 5.